Hello all, it is I, the Sivart, and I'm here with a update, I suppose, on the Project Civ Modeler, because, I, you know, I, I continuously get questions um, on, you know, on Civ Modeler, when it'll be out, how it's going, you know, will it be compatible for Mac and whatnot, so. Uh, this is just kind of telling you where I'm at. So, uh, well, firstly, I should probably note that I doubt, I highly doubt, that Civ Modeler will be compatible with Mac unless you use some kind of uh, method for running an EXE on a Mac. I hear there are some, but I don't know whether or not it actually will work, especially because I'm using DLLs, which are incompatible with Mac. Anyway, so far, here's what we got here. Um, I was having major issues with GameMaker 8.1 when I transferred over to my newer computer. So it, it just plain old wasn't working, so I decided to switch it over to Studio, so here it is now. Um, the problem was, was the menu bar on top, that DLL is not compatible with the Studio. For some reason, it glitches out any time I try to, um, to lock the menu bar into the Windows handle. Not sure why, but anyway, I will have to look into a different method for said, um, for said buttons and menus and whatnot. Anyway, I do, however, have this console at the bottom of the screen here. So I've been using that just in the testing phases here. So it, it works uh, fairly well. I'm able to load in something. Um, I'll actually load in my stress test, which has heaps of points. It's converting model to D3D, so this is quite a bit slower still than actually loading it in. But at least you can see a progress bar and it does do it as fast as I probably possibly could. So, um, as you can see, this has quite a few points. And, you know, it, it, it has, it's pretty much all working here. Uh, it gives me some, some information down here. But yeah, I'm, the mechanics are working fairly well. I can't say, um, like I can click on it, you know, move it around, whatnot. Uh, stretching also does work. Rotating, I do believe, did work uh, by command mode. I'm actually not sure if it's working right now. It's been a while. Um, okay, X rotate. Let's give it. Uh, let's give it a 90 degree rotation. See what happens. Uh, 45 C 20. See what happens. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay, so I do have rotate working. Not not 3D wise, like there's not buttons on the screen that you can click and drag as of yet, but at least I know the technology is is working, so rotating a model, especially a big one, is very possible. It's mainly the part that's, that takes a little while for it to refresh there, is the transferring from the DLL over to the, the 3D model inside of the program. Um, so, there's not a whole lot I can do to speed that up. Now, Studio will be uh, upgrading their their code they will pre-compile the GML inside of your EAXE so theoretically this will mean longer compile time for the maker myself but in the end it should run about 10 times faster so this this I am very helpful for in in especially the future of this program so yeah I mean uh, I, I'm pretty sure that it'll it'll affect this Anyway, um, that's that's pretty much all I can show. I can show that it is working. It is it is very compatible with very large models. I've only really shown a little bit of what it can actually do, but really I'm just trying to get the basics, the fundamental low levels of the program down solid, so that it'll actually uh, be usable, and I can add later um, some better, cooler stuff later on without having to worry about just the fundamental core features. So the idea is to make the fundamental co core features work as fast as possible and with as little amount, or like no glitches, no glitches at all. So I was also trying to get this on to Steam, um, but for some reason it did not work. I'm not actually sure why. It was having some weird issues trying to upload to Steam. It would have the wrong screenshot and stuff, and it wouldn't update. But I would test it in in the in the runner in the Steam runner, and it would work. But as soon as I try to compile it and then run it off of Steam, then it would give me an error that says that um, unknown external file, which doesn't really make a lot of sense since I was using Studio's include file 
method. Anyway, so I am still working on it, not at um, probably the pace I should be, but I'm hoping to change that. And anyway, it's working really fast. I'm happy with the speed I get from Studio. Uh, yeah, so I hope this kind of gives you guys a good idea on how far I am right now. And hopefully I'll be able to give you guys at least a, a working beta or alpha version soon. That's really all I got. Anyway, have a nice day.